It's a bit chilly today in London. Yes, I am inside, and yes, I do have an extra layer, which can only mean one thing. I am a weenie when it comes to the cold. Okay, now that we got past the formalities of that, I want to tell you guys about a challenge I want to introduce to all of you. We all know that processed sugar, you know, the delicious kinds that you find in most of our candy bars and cookies and all those good treats is not good for you. It's not good for the waistline, it's not good for your heart, it's not good for your blood, it's not good. Anyway, it just tastes good and it's a fun little treat to have. But just like with anything else that's not good for you, if you use it in excess, it can really lead to some bad, bad things happening. Obesity, heart disease, uh, diabetes, you name it, there's some sort of correlation to processed sugar can be found in there. I, for one, have a sweet tooth, and when that sweet tooth gets activated, I can go for days of just eating nothing but junk food. I'll eat other good stuff too, and I exercise, but I'll eat junk food on top of junk food on top of junk food. And what happens is that little short-term reward I have from, mmm, this tastes good, turns into me feeling like absolute shit for days because it feels like I have a sugar hangover, which I do. And it's almost like a, a sugaraholic if you could have such a thing. So here's my challenge. And I want to invite any and all of you to join in on this. The Exercise Accountability Group is going to be participating with this. So if you need a little bit of extra accountability, check us out. I'll put a link uh, below or up here in the corner where, because I just learned how to do that on YouTube that I can put a link where I'm talking. Sorry, I'm off topic. Anyways, the challenge is going to be this. Now, I'm all about balance and creating balance in life. So I never want to teach people just to give up and sacrifice and all that because it's just you're not sustaining that. But to learn how to balance things in life, now that's another thing. So the challenge is this for the second time. I'm going to challenge myself and those of you who want to join me to create a balance with sugar for the next, uh, oh, three months or so. Or, you know, basically from now, I guess it would be three and a half months, now to the end of the year. And the challenge is to find the balance for me, I'm going to challenge myself to only have the processed sugar, the cookies, the candies, the chocolates type stuff three times in a month. Those are two. This is three. Three times in one month. So that could be, you know, basically what? Every 10 days I can treat myself to a little treat. And when I have that, I'm only going to have a small serving size. I'm not going to double up. I'm not going to triple up. I'm not going to have two cookies and let that turn into 10 cookies. So my challenge for myself is three times a month, I can have my treat. Other days, there's no processed sugar and I'm doing this for the rest of the year. Some challenges that you could do for yourself, if you wanna do the same thing in me as I am and follow my lead, you can. If you wanna to try to give it up all together for the next three months, that's great. If you wanna do once a week, that's fantastic. If you wanna do once a month, that's great too. Whatever is gonna be a balance for you, that's your challenge for yourself. So I hope you join in on this. You, know, you can get some friends, pass the video along, invite them, the more the merrier. And again, we'll put a little link to the exercise accountability group on here so you guys can look into joining up if you want a little extra help with this. And I hope to see us all with firmer trimmer and slimmer waistlines as a result of this and better teeth. I'll talk to you guys later.